Welcome back everybody. We had a little break in our service for Los Triplet Bay and now we are into part two of the first part of the entry island uh, which is Ibo Island right over here as we're getting this completely set up for all the commerce and construction traffic and everything else. So one of the things that we will continue to do is to make sure that the goods and services are coming in here as easily as can be. Now, one of the things that I did end up having to uh, be concerned about was basically, um, you know, a loss of where everything was. It took me a little bit of time to get everything placed back in, but here we are, um, you know, allowing folks to just hop on in to the city and providing them the goods and services to get to where they need to go. So, got our postal offices set up. We got our offices over here. We got our residential rebuilt. We got our park back up to a level two uh, so that these folks can enjoy themselves. And then, if I remember right, we did make some simple changes right over here to uh, allow the ease of traffic for people coming in and out. Um, so let's get these guys all set up. We'll actually make this like a six lane here um, just so that folks can get to where they need to go. We'll get our little uh, traffic manager set up here with our turn lanes. Okay, uh, yep, this one. There we go. And you will go this way, you will go this way, and then now everybody will go to where they need to go. Very simply placed. Uh, and let's see. Um, let's let's just do this again. We'll get that updated, and we'll get a, a new little bike path put in over here. All right, and it looks like this was our one of our little highway areas. So we'll make sure that this remains a highway just so that uh, people have to go through the park as needed and we'll make this the normal four lane divided road so that we can use goods and services on this road later and that will hopefully alleviate some of that traffic there we'll get our little traffic manager set up again get our turn lanes set up over here so that everybody goes to where they need to go Right turn, left turn, straight ahead, since this is going to be uh, kind of a big area for folks to come in and out of. Uh, and it looks like we're doing okay here because like everybody's turning right or turning left. Um, so hopefully we'll see what happens here. Let's see, it looks like we did get end up with a traffic light here because I haven't turned those off yet, which is fine. Um, that's something I haven't set up for this at all in gameplay, but we'll get, we'll get that rolling. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing all right. We recovered everything that we needed to, but we are building up some traffic. Now it looks like we have a lot more demand for residential. So here in Chillon, we'll make sure that, uh, we get some nice residential, uh, spread up mung park so that these folks can enjoy their goods and services here while they live here. Now as far as this neighborhood, we'll bump this up a little bit on the other side. Now that's Gans District. We do have trash issues throughout the city, but that's pretty much very much expected. Now for Chillon, we're going to make sure that this entire area over here um, ends up as a nice little residential community back over here. Just so that we have a bit of diverse community in here. And we'll take our little paintbrush, we'll fill in the rest. And 
and allow it to grow. There we go. And there we are. Same with in here. Success will come. All right. Now, as far as getting some more commercial, we'll drop these guys in right here. Clear this out. That will help with these guys. This will also provide us uh, a means for more of the industry to do what they do best and get themselves built in here along this road that we basically kind of single-sided all the way down here so that these power powers, powers to be can be fully connected. All right, that works. Got some good isolation set up here and it looks like we're now level three in our park here. So let's get whatever else is needed in so that we can continue to boost our entertainment which means beautiful gazebos throughout. We'll get some set up on the water. And there we are. We'll grab these other ones and set them up on this side of the park. So that people can actually Enjoy the happiness that it brings. There we are. And this should eventually get us up to level four. We have our entertainment at double the value and we'll soon be at 5,000 visitors for a level four park. And this allows us to get everybody to and from this entire area. Now it looks like we're actually saving at this time. Um, because it hit its autosave and it wasn't causing any issues. So we're good there. Now, because this is going to be part two, we got two of our forestry areas pretty much set up. They're both level two, which means it's time to make sure that we uh, increase any type of production that we can do. And this is going to bring in our samplings here so that we don't have to worry about more imports. And we'll bring some things over here for these guys to get uh, fully integrated uh, into here. And we'll drop them off on opposite sides of the road. We have two greenhouses. Come over to this side. We'll put the two greenhouses in the middle. We'll make sure that we get rid of any power lines that are in the way. There we go. And as far as production, now that we're level two, this means that we can bring in some of the bigger uh, workhorse equipment to allow our production to become of ease. So it says that we need to place it along the roadside, which that is pretty much a highway. Um, so we'll drop these two guys off right over here. All right. And it says we're too steep here, but we're too steep there, too steep here, too steep there. It's just unbelievable that these guys think that things have to work their way. But that's okay. We got these two guys coming in here, which will help us with some production. Now, as far as worker barracks, we finally got these guys in, so we can have them set up. Boom. To provide some additional efficiency for this community. There we are. Make sure that things have power. Very simply put. And we're not running out of power just yet. But, however, <laughs> I think it's time to also... Um, get some of our farm area set up and we'll get this uh, brought in over here. So let's get the big circle. Drop it in. There we go. Very nicely done. And as far as a second 
uh, area for farming. We'll bring that in uh, more than likely kind of like over here so that we can get our goods and services uh, to where they need to go. Now as far as our third um, industry area, it's going to be this little skirt right over here and this will also be more of um, the mills for what we need very simply put and we'll bring this guy over to here and that will work out for us and you can come over here and that works for us now let's see what we can build uh, for farms now it looks like we got a simple farmhouse that we can set up over here okay and we'll work on the roads later on for this over here but let's go ahead and get um, another um, building set up over here looks like we're going to need to drop in uh, some more additional power because we want to make sure that uh, we stay as clean energy as uh, effectively possible All right there we go we'll bring in some of the industry roads and we'll have to take a look at how our elevation is here and it looks like uh, we have some slopes here so we're gonna have to bring this down take it over take this one over and take this one up and over all right so this works let's bring it in bring it up and we'll bring these guys down There we are, and this will help us uh, with the way things will look in the future. All right, now this is what I kind of made it look like. So we will get these connected. All right, and you can come over here. And this will be this little section over here. Bring you up. Come on. We'll bring you over. There we go. And this should provide us some goods and services over here. All right, now we got this very much set up. Got a nice little community bay. I'll bring you up and around. Bring you over and bring you this way. All right, now we have this easily set up. Let's get some farms put in. Looks like we can actually bring you straight across, bring you straight down, and we'll be good to go. For the future expansion of this being a level three, this will, is already a level three, which means it can go that way. But first, let's get some of the farm in. And it looks like we're gonna have to get this fully set up along these back roads here. All right, let's get them in. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we know space is already occupied. Anarchy. There we go. We'll just fill this whole road up just so that we can actually uh, get people into where we need them to go. Very simple. All right, and we'll get our fruits and veggies placed in. That's not going to work. There we go. Fruits and veggies. One, two, three, four, five. 
two, three, four, five, six. And now it's all too steep. We'll get some of these little simple farm pastures put in. One, two, three, and four. And the main thing that we want to be able to do is get the cows, the highland cows, the pigs are fine, and we'll just change these over to sheep. Now, as far as our storage, let's get this set up and drop them off right over here. All right, that's our farm. Let's get our power line set up because it looks like it is about ready to do what it needs to. Okay, we'll drop you over and there we go. Now we're ready for level three on both of these little farm areas. So we'll get some more uh, industry. Looks like it's not ready, but we can put in some storage apparently, which is going to be good for us into both of these locations. Okay, and we'll get the large ones. Get those easily set up here. So what do you mean, slope too steep? And we'll bring you in right over here, which then allows us to get rid of the simple power line that's here. Easily done. And we'll drop you in. Drop you off. Okay. And as far as production wise, we have these bigger trees now, which will help us out in the long run. But unfortunately, we need to uh, expand this little area. We'll take it this way, and we'll take it this way. Um, just so that it can actually grow and we do have growth room over here so this will be easily placed for these roads and apparently it's saying that these areas are too steep but we'll fix that okay we'll get the little ones in here Very easily done. We'll get um, some of our roads set up. Perfect. I think that's where these goods are. Oh, very well. And we'll bring you this way. And we'll bring you this way. And we'll drop these in to where they make sense. There we go. And drop you off here. Slope too steep, but we can drop you off here. Grab these little ones, drop them in. Grab the big areas, and then this should allow us to eventually reach level four. Yep, so these are all oak plantations, but we'll change them to coffers. And there we go. What else we got? We got these guys. We'll make them beach. Easily set up. Adler and Adler. And we'll leave those as that. <coughs> Apparently you can't see trees on them, but I, I guess that's just an error. There you go. 
easily set up and done. Two, 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 beautiful now. We got tons of traffic here. Because folks are coming in and they're getting all their goods and services placed in. Which means that we need to uh, probably increase the density of this highway here. And we'll simply upgrade it. So that the goods and services can move through here a little bit quicker. Alright, and we'll leave this with some room back over here. Drop you guys off. Very easily done. Bring you up by two. And we'll bring you up by three. Very easily done. Okay. All right. Now, apparently, people are having driving issues over here. So, one of the things that we will be able to do is upgrade this to a four laner. So, many folks aren't leaving here. So, we'll make sure that this gets upgraded to a two. And we're good to go. Alright, looks like we're having some more trash issues, but that's just because these are pretty much like one-way roads. Now as far as what we need to be able to get, get accomplished, we got this, which can probably take care of a lot of the big issues, but it's not going to help us overall. 25, 25. <clears throat> Ooh, let's get something smaller. That's big and dirty. There we are. Simple recycling center. That will help these guys out right here. Okay. More trucks, more goods, more services as the night sets here in Lost Triplet Bay. Now apparently we have a big demand for residential, so we'll make sure that we get these guys set up as well. Adler. There we go, those are hemp, too easy. Those will make threes and fours. This is surely growing and it's taking its sweet time. All right. Apples. Oranges. Pears. Apples and apples, and we'll make this one a greenhouse. And there we go. Now we got apples, apples, pears, and oranges. Okay. Alright, that should really help people out. And we got tons of corn coming in. Easily done. Apparently we have a small power issue over here. Oh, it's just simply because they're not connected. So let's go back into our little production area and see what we can get set up. That's too big, but this is just right. And that should hopefully um, cross the divide for power. See, easily done. Let's check our water. <clears throat> Water's doing perfect. Uh, and, and let's see how many people are actually getting into the city here. Not many at all. But we are doing great on our cargo. 
Let's check our traffic. Plenty of folks are coming in. Goods and services are coming in. And pedestrians are coming in. Let's check our park activity by clicking on this road here. Oh wow, that is beautiful. You got plenty of people coming in and about the city. Oh yes, people are crossing over. That is perfect. Exactly what we were looking for. <clears throat> now we're ready to build in more residential because it's calling for it. And there we go. Bring you over to here. Bring you down to here. Bring you around to get you fully connected to here. And bring you straight over here. So this is like a crazy big intersection. Now as far as our health, <clears throat> let's make sure that we get some elder care. Apparently we're going to need that as these folks get older. Alright, we'll move this around. Alright, and we'll give them some health care. Very easily done. We'll make sure that they got the police and fire. And one of the things that we haven't done yet, that you haven't done in any game, is provide um, evacuation routes. So we'll make sure that this gets set up here in our future. Come on, get connected. It looks like we're gonna have to drop you off right here. And that didn't work. So, drop you off here. Now that works. Okay. We got our little park fence back in. Very easily done. Now we'll come back over here and make sure that these folks are able to survive some interesting disasters. So we'll get you placed in over here. Looks like we have room for one of these guys over here. And we'll get one of you guys set up over here. <coughs> now as far as like this big guy. Yeah. Let's uh, bring a simple road back this way. And we'll make sure that our disaster services systems can get brought online. We'll grab a tiny road. Get them set in. There we are. Now we'll be able to observe any type of uh, disasters that may happen. As far as buoys, <clears throat> we'll get these guys set in. Pretty much as early warning devices. Since more than likely this is where her folks are going to be coming in from. Alright.
right. <clears throat> now we're protected by pretty much any disaster that will come at us. We'll need to get um, some radio set up for these folks. And because we will set it up over here by the toll road, it'll be even better for us to get that uh, service announcement put in. There we are. Okay, so now we're pretty well protected for earthquakes. We've got radio traffic set up. And we're good to go. And we'll bring one of these little ones um, and set it up over here just to have some redundancy in what we're doing. And maybe I'll make that green. If not, it'll be okay. Now let's get some of our evacuation routes set up. Let's create an evacuation route. And we'll just add a stop. Add a stop. Add a stop. <clears throat> And there we go. And we're all good. Alright, let's grab this one. We'll bring these guys straight on down. And you over pick these folks up. Pick them up. them up, pick them up, pick them up, drive around here, complete that line, and we're good to go. <clears throat> now as far as like these guys, we'll bring them around. Up and around, up and around, <clears throat> and we'll come back down, and we'll collect people here, finish that route, we'll come over here, we'll collect these people, There you go. And we have those folks that are doing their jobby over there. So we will make sure that they get themselves fully set up. Okay, and then we'll take this little guy. And get y'all set up. And bring y'all back here. Okay, so now we got this entire little area fully protected uh, for our citizens in case there is a disaster. Alright. Let's uh, check on our park. We're now level four. And drop this off. We got our little gazebos and we got our big play areas here. So let's drop these guys off, make them happy. And we'll make these folks even happier. And we'll make these folks happy as well. And then we'll be ready for a level five. Drop some of these park benches off here. <clears throat> and we need more residential. Now, 
as this entire little place has grown. We're doing great. We have a place for people coming into the city and a place for them to leave the city. And we're down to six million. But we also now need to make sure that we get more residential communities set up. So one of the things that we should be able to do is see what type of factories we have um, so that we can actually start making some money. And we'll bring a little industry road uh, back down over here. And bring you over here and bring you over here. Now let's see what is available. That's too steep, too steep, too steep, too steep, too steep. Okay, this one will work here. The bakery will be nice. We'll drop you off here and we'll see about you. You're too steep, too steep, too steep, too steep, and we can bring you in right over here. So hopefully these guys will allow us to have some um, money made. Okay, that one's going to fit better there than I, what I expected. There we go. And we got a vegan bakery. That's not going to work there. But we could probably bring you over to here. Or, yeah, right there will be fine. And let's take a look. Goods and services, goods and services. Got an idea. We'll see about the elevation change here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll leave it as is. We'll get rid of this. This road altogether. And let's see. We're still too steep, but we can kind of change this. Bring this down to very small. Drop you off. There you go. And now we can fit you in. All right. This will definitely help us out in the long run for what we want to be able to get done here. We'll start making money on these guys as soon as we get more goods and services placed into here. Alright, now we got the Victoria Farm. It's now a level 2. Are we able to build anything extra in here? at all. We can now do flour, which is going to be super important for us. So let's get these guys brought in. Definitely want tons of flour. Simple cattle shed. And that'll provide us a lot more goods and services there. Now we got our little family areas. This will allow us to increase some production and workers to be in the community. Okay. Now as far as residents, um, let's find a new home for these people. And we'll create this over here. Now we do have this set up as a forestry area, 
but I think one of the nice things that we'll be able to do is just make sure that these folks are able to succeed and grow here. So we'll go up and over and around the bay. These folks will enjoy themselves. Now that's the Lafayette complex. We'll get a nice road that comes all the way over from point A to point B. So we'll grab one of our little six lane roads. We'll curb it. And we'll bring it through as a tunnel. And there we go. Alright, that provides us some more traffic for these folks to get from point A to point B. Alright, now as far as upgrading this road, let's go ahead and see if we can actually do that and see how far it goes. Very easily done. Alright, and we'll upgrade this very easily. And we'll grab you. We'll get rid of you. Grab our little two lane road. Bring you back. There we are. Alright, that provides us some ease of traffic around here. And because these are going to be pretty much residential, we'll switch these over to the little bike lanes. Actually, we can make them four lanes get something better looking. Let's see. Four lanes with bike lanes. There we go. there as we save the game. Bring you up and around. Bring you over. We'll bring you into here. Bring you down. We'll actually make sure you touch the ground. Very easily done. Drop, drop. There we go. Easily placed in. Alright, now one of the things that we will do is uh, we'll get whatever we need as far as like, um, you know, hospital and police set up in this area before we do anything else. So we'll get the healthcare. Get these guys set up in here. Looks like we'll be able to do that right here. We'll get our fire department set up over here. Actually, let's get our evacuations center set up. Apparently, we're too steep, but we're good there. We have our police that can come in. And we'll grab our little building here. 
come on, crossover. And we'll grab one of our little towers, get them set up so that we don't have to worry about oh any types of uh, issues with fires. Come on. You can do this. There we go. Alright, now one of the things we'll do is we'll just grab this and we'll move it over here. Turn it to where we want it. And we're good to go. Okay, now as far as getting our power set up, we will get another windmill. And drop you in. And get a post office set up in here as well. And we'll get our little rows to where we need them to go. get our little tiny roads properly set up now. Just to make sure that we have plenty of residents in the community. Neatly done, and we'll bring you straight over. And as the sun rises, we'll see what other beautiful creations are made. There we go. And we're properly set up here. <coughs> We'll bring you over and around. Yeah, we'll leave that as it is. There we go. Looks like one of the things that I did forget to set up was our school system. So we'll get that placed in as well. Alright, so, so let's get that in. Make sure that these people will then become fully educated. Phoenix schools in <coughs> and one of our elementary schools set in. So one of the things we will also do 
is we'll grab one of these other high schools, get them set up on this side. And some of the slopes are a bit too steep for these guys. Alright, <clears throat> now that we got our schools, we'll get some of our parks put in. It looks like we're now level 5 for this park, which is going to really help us out and bring us the bang for the buck. All right. Now we have this little area that we will properly get renamed here in the future. But one of the things that we definitely want to be able to get done right now, get some smaller parks put in. Let's get a form of recreation put in. That was soccer. We'll get some tennis put in, and that will help these folks and get them properly set up for the future some track and field. Now, as we close out this area, one of the things I will say adieu to is that we are simply just going to drag and drop. Too easy. Drag and drop. And this will help these communities grow over here. So thank you for joining us on City Skylines. Enjoy them as they continue to grow. And we'll bump them up a little bit faster. <laughs>